Hey everyone, it's Cuddle, and I am here with episode 3 of the Darksiders 100% walkthrough. Now, you might be wondering, where the heck are we going to go now? And uh, the answer is, we're going to go right where the game seemed like it wanted us to go. So we're going to go right up there. However, uh, we do technically have an open path, now that we can use the Serpent Hole down here. And you might have seen a few places we can go on our way here now that we have the fire hollow. We will be doing that, don't worry. And uh, we can even backtrack technically now for a few things, but we're not going to do that yet. Our first big backtrack is going to be after we get the first three access items. And that's for a few reasons. Primarily, it's because I want many different people to be able to use this guide. If they jump in at different times and they haven't done it in the exact same order, I still want them to be able to proceed and I don't want them to get stuck. So I'm actually re-recording this bit. In my original version of this video, I had a whole rant about how this game is non-linear, but not really non-linear and probably shouldn't be non-linear. As I continued, that kind of developed into like a whole like YouTube video essay thing. So maybe you guys want to see that. I'll do that at a separate point as a separate video. I think we should just get on with the game. So let's uh, get to going. Last time we talked to Vulgrim, had a little speech with him. Be gone. Got told to be gone by this fellow right here the lord of hollows and we're dumped out right here after the cutscene so this is most definitely the direction the game wants you to go the fire hollow something changes when i hold it i can feel its power coursing through my hands and now we can burn webbing and that red webbing as we have learned previously comes back not that we're ever going to go back that way I feel nothing, <laughs> like wading through a pond. And we already knew about the fire walking from getting the stuff around Vulgrim in the lava earlier. Ha! Incredible! And then our very handy dandy, I call it like rocket jump, fire jump, whatever you want to call it. We'll grab a large lizard clump here in the lava. And probably our most used traversal tool and this is also my favorite combat hollow but everyone can have their own preference but this is just mine personally mostly because it does the most amount of damage and damage over time which is very nice when there's someone you're fighting that only has small windows to dodge or attack because they're blocking there's plenty of different ways to do it that's just what i like damage equal good now we're going to stand on this big old button one of our first of many buttons to come. Putting us one way over here. And there is Vulgrim. Before we do that, though, we we'll come over here, grab this large orchard clump, and say hello to these glowy walls that we will be back for. They had a Vulgrim, but not quite yet because we're going to come right here and get the small orchard clump. Hey, buddy. Take right. your time. So, as you might notice now, and I failed to mention before, slivers of adamantine are now purchasable. As you see there, they're infinite. If you wanted, you could grind them all out right now. However, you get quite a few throughout the game. So, plenty for the achievement, plenty to upgrade your stuff. At least until you get the DLC weapons where you need quite a few of them. But you'll get them in Armageddon mode and New Game Plus. So, there's only a few times where I recommend buying them. And that's when you're like right before a boss and you want to upgrade. And you're like one shard away from upgrading. But uh, usually you'd be better spent the souls on your levels. At least until, again, we're shooting for like around level 40 uh, for the end. So, and once you're at that point, maybe it's time to invest. But anywho, Vulgrim also has now the Flame Hollow armor. So there is four different armors in the game, at least on the base game. And there's also a DLC armor that doesn't have any benefits. This is the first one we have access to. It's just as good as the other armors as the two utility things. 5% physical damage reduction and 5% lurches from shattering crystals. Giving you just that little bit more out of your skull crush faces. Which is great. And for me, I love the flame armor because 50% damage on top of the already high output of the fire is, mwah, is wonderful. Until you get to Armageddon and New Game Plus when you start upgrading armors, one of these will be the best that you get for a while. Or at least until the, or like I said, Armageddon or at the end of the DLC where you get the fabled abyssal armor we will be wanting this pretty soon however it is 10,000, and even if we skull crush faced all of our stuff right now we wouldn't have enough 
So we're going to save up. We might not spend it in this episode. We might not buy it in this episode, pull the trigger. And that's really up to you too. There's no right or wrong way. It can help in some cases, but also might be beneficial to level up as we proceed through this next area, which can get kind of difficult, especially in Armageddon and Reckoning. They can kill you pretty quickly sometimes. So that's my thought there. And we'll probably buy this at some point. We could also save up for one of these because now that we have two weapons, we have two slots and we can actually slot one of these in. We're not going to do that yet because we're actually going to pick another enhancement up here pretty soon. And I'd rather, before buying one of these, I'd rather buy even the Rejuvenation Core and the Flame Howl Armor. So these are lower on my priority list, but we will get them. Do not worry. As you wish. Thanks, buddy. Uh, do make sure they scream. Oh, I will. And we got our first crystal sword switch letting us in here. And let's beat up these skeletons minding their own business. Pick up this little fortification shard here. And kill all these skeletons who would attack us, so... You know, not quite as innocent as those other ones. And how about we don't die to just a random sword dude? Okay, good over there, boom. Alright, yeah, playing and gaming, folks. Playing and gaming. Maybe I'm just getting old. And you're blocking like a little jerk face. But we can dodge and flame you to death. Alrighty. So, we got that fortification shard up there in that face. We get the small little lurcher cluster here. And there is a place down here we could jump down, so we're gonna do that. But actually, we're going to get these skeletons who were minding their own business. Lost souls just trying to live in the lava-filled caverns, minding their own gosh darn lives. But well, we're going to jump down here and pick that up in a second. But first, we're going to we're going to take out these flame warden dudes. I don't even know what to call them. So what I'd like to do is I look at this one that I'm attacking, keep him stunned, and keep an eye on this guy so he doesn't hit me with those flames, because that can get kind of annoying. But now that we're down to one, we can just stun lock. And drive him into a corner. Got over this wonderful lava hellscape. But there's nothing for us to do down there. But there is this demonic artifact. So we've got an angelic artifact before. Now we got the demonic artifacts. Which is the other pathway to upgrade our enhancements. And I walked over there, but actually our way back up is right here. And we jump down over there. Get this other skeleton just sitting down, enjoying a chill, chill afternoon. And let's swing on over. Or not fall, please. Oh, okay. I guess they listen to me. We have a small hemi shard in the corner, and we got a big old baddie up there. So, let's go fight this little fire boss. So, as you can see with him, since he's fire, the fire doesn't seem to do as much damage. I mean, that's a little bit of a like indicator of some of the strategy coming up but like really there's not very much elemental like damage or consideration throughout the game like maybe a little bit at some points but this guy's probably the best example because our regular arcane does more damage than our our regular arcane counter did more damage than our specialized flame hollow counter so Sil silver, silver, sliver of adamantine. A small little lurcher clump, and this thing. Oh, but we don't have anything to throw at it yet, but we can smack our faces into it. 
sword smack face. Okay, I'm not going to say that one again. And we got... Very nice, Fury. Very nice of you to say. Alright, so we got all of those guys. We're going to get the clump that's right here in this pot that we destroyed mid-fight. And get our first Invigoration Core. So we've increased the quality of our potions, of our Nephilim Respites, but now we just increased the number. So we didn't automatically top off, but we technically have space for one more. And we have another little Vulgrim here. Hey, buddy. Not enough for another level, although we might actually hold off on that for a second. I don't know why I'm going down there. And as you can see, we can buy one health lurcher. So we're going to do that. And now... The totally, totally inconspicuous edit where I totally did not miss this angelic artifact up here. Hidden. My brightness on this monitor is a little bit low. So sometimes stuff like that slips by. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Okay, that's not helpful. Okay. Let's do a little better jump here. There we go. Grab this little angelic artifact. Alrighty. Now, inconspicuous crossfade back. We got three. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend you buy it there. I just wanted to for the example. Alright, so this room is a little annoying. Because... These skeleton bone arrow guys are going to annoy you till the end of your playthrough. So start early, start quickly, take them out as soon as you see them. But before we go into the next room, let's grab a little demonic artifact in here. Come out. This guy spawns in response. It's like, why'd you take my secret shiny thing I hid in the lava flow? I wanted that, because he's some sort of cat, I guess. I just wanted it. I just hoarded it like like a cat toy. Alright. And go in this corner. All these guys worshipping. It appears your poor lost souls have found a purpose. Poor lost souls are trying to shoot arrows at me. How dare they? Let's take him out first so he cannot annoy the crap out of us. And then Start whipping that whip. Whipping that whip. Whip that whip. Whip that whip. Alright, and during the fight we hit that. That sword which opened up that. But hold your horses there, folks. We got a little secret to go for first. Yeah, yeah, we'll go this way. And... We're going to destroy theirs. And all right, our secret. Our secret involves crawling through a hole, because we like doing that. And grabbing this sliver of adamantine. Pull the lever without pulling the lever. Pull, stick, no, not, nope, not going there. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. All right. So, as you might have deduced, that was the lever we just pulled. Open up this right here. This little small healing shard. So, up here is kind of a difficult fight. The earth never ceases to impress with its variety of abominations. I... I thought they had all been destroyed. You know these things? When they roamed free, we call them the Chosen. The Chosen, that's right. And if you were looking at enhancements, you would see that you need a Essence of the Chosen in order to upgrade your final level on those enhancements. So this is where we get them, by killing guys like this. This can actually be kind of a difficult fight. And you're more than welcome to come back. However, my 
hundred percent ness and the fact that I have havoc is uh and I also have a fortification shell we just got. So you know what? I'm gonna pop it. And we're going to take on this big bad boy. Now I'd recommend you do the same. Oh god. Oh god. Maybe this was a mistake. Maybe this was a mistake. Okay, I'm kidding. This was a mistake. Definitely missed that dodge pretty bad, though. If I didn't have the fortification shard, that would have killed me. For sure. Actually, you know what? I think that might have just ignored. Okay, come on. Stop talking and gaming. Just game. Like a pro. There we go. Once we get to about halfway, I'm gonna pop the Havoc Shard. A little bit past. Havoc Shard. Just pop the Havoc. You can also just pop it once. Fight a little bit. Pop a Havoc Shard. And then pop it again. That works too. Alright, here we go. Let's finish this sucker off. Also nice that Havoc Form heals you up a little bit too. Okay, that was a fail. That was a double fail. All right, now let's not embarrass ourselves on the internet. That's always a bad sign. Gaming internet as well. No, we got this. We got this. All right. Essence of a Chosen. Highly magical. This Icar possesses the potential to unlock incredible power in a weapon enhancement. That's what I said. Well, they want to see it. Not for a while. This will be a while before we have enough to upgrade any of them. All right. So we got that. It is also possible for it not to drop. That has happened to me before. Where it just doesn't drop. So if it doesn't happen, I'm sorry. New Game Plus, you'll get enough to get the achievement. And actually, there is six total. So you can get the achievement with only five if this one didn't drop and the rest do. But anywho. An angelic artifact here. And a large literature clump here. Okay, secret completed. Let us continue. Through this door that we opened up a while ago now. All right, so got a little bit of cells of a puzzle puzzle. But before that, we're gonna jump over here and grab this small literature cluster. And now let this guy do anything to us. I see it was like, why you take my shiny? Why you take my shiny? And you see here it turns yellow, meaning we have to hit these two in succession around the same time so that they both appear. So now you might ask, how do we do that? Well, let me tell you. We just jump on this little inconspicuously placed hmm. pedestal. Perhaps these webs are not an obstacle, but an asset. If there were a way to use them to reach that crystal. Let's watch from the corner here. Boom. Boom. Red engaged. We did it. Thanks for your insight there. Boom, 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 boom. And then we cross the bridge. Interesting. These chambers seem out of place. They are old. Neither of heaven nor heaven. Early humans, perhaps. Perhaps. I am a mistress. But even I do not know everything. Especially when it comes to the minds. Alright, well I definitely just use a small healing shard there to not die. We'll grab the Rash Shard that was in the vase here. And I think that's all. Yep, nothing in there. And we do hear that ringing, and that ringing is above us, and we will be getting it in a little while. Do not worry. Not that long, but pretty soon. Well, that was a dodge fail. Belongs in the soon upcoming... Cuddle Snot Dodge Fail compilation. All right. So, we got a little bit of health. We're not going to die as we walk into this room. And you see here, 
We got some tornadoes, so we will be back. That is another item just like those walls that we need to pass. And the purple barnacles that we've seen before. And we're not going to let this guy ruin our day. Knock him off. Hit you through a window, because why not? But we're honorable. We'll finish you over there. And, however, we are going to jump right over here. We didn't need to do that, but I did anyway. Small lurcher cluster. And... There's one more thing. There it is. Two more things. Small healing shard. And the frenzy shard. And now, let's go through another hole. Sulking around in our holes. This is a song, tactically, I guess. Alright. And now there's two arrow guys. Three arrow guys, technically, actually. One up there that you do not want to trigger yet, because he will ruin your day. Just dealing with one. The audio cues really help you dodge the arrows. So as you kind of hear that coming, just dodge out of the way, even if you don't see it. And after we clear this out, we're going to collect everything, like the thing we just made over there. You die, thank you. Alright, so now we're going to quick rush over here. To this guy, before he becomes too annoying. Alright. So, we'll still watch out, there's one guy up there that'll be shooting at us. While we whip whip our way out of this mess and all right so now let's deal with you oh one more left no you don't no you don't okay i really want to take this guy out thank you die oh yeah and we got to have one's respite we didn't even have to risk it there all right Large lurcher clump right here. So I didn't have to go right now, but there's quite a few things in here. So let's do go through this systematically. Small lurcher clump. Can't jump up there because there's a emptiness thing. That's uh, totally what I meant. We will be going down there, but that's actually our final exit. So don't go down there yet. Just all right. I'm just gonna hit everything. I know there's. A, Everything's here, but I don't know exactly which one is which memorized. Okay, I guess one of there, but that's fine. You can get on the table, make the jump a little easier, you can just do this. And there's Arrow Guy, but we're gonna go up here first and get the demonic artifact in here. And then we're gonna go deal with you. Or not. Or double knot. Man, I'm just knocking it out of the park today, folks. Okay, let's go up. And definitely bash our heads against the ceiling. That works out well. This little soul cluster. And grab the same large witch pump and then take you out just because I don't like you again really okay well I guess we'll deal with you last then because I just don't like you we don't even have to do it right now but I'm gonna do it anyway okay all right all right fury all right fury figure this out for me all right thank you large lurcher clump and our last thing is not here. We already got the last thing. Okay. All right, that's everything. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Super systematic and helpful, I know. And essentially, just on each of these, there's three levels... Three by three on each side, so just check all nine cells, and then the th three on either side on the bottom, and you will find everything in here. Nothing super secret except for that demonic down in the hole, or through the thing over there. All right, down the hole, this hole, is the way we proceed forward.
And we'll see our one of our first one of these things, a fire sack with a lack of a better term, which you get by destroying with some fire. We get a small butcher cluster and get this thorn shard. And now we're on the other side of the gate that we were at before. And there's Vulgrim, but before we do that, we're going to grab this. When there's the bridge, this is the ringing we heard when we were down on the floor below. And there's nothing in there. Okay. Breaking priceless faces, just for the heck of it. We'll talk to Vulgrim. We could get a level. Where are we at right now? We want to save up? Or are we doing? We're at nine. Okay, yeah, we'll do one. We're going to go to ten. And feel free to go higher if you want. This is kind of where I would recommend to be, though, for whoops, for the upcoming fight. And I realized I just all these points I haven't even spent yet. Man, I'm doing good. Okay, so I like having around level five for this because the next area can things can kill you in three hits if you only have three or four. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Yep. All right, so now you'll die in two hits, and you'll have time to recover if you get caught in a little combo. All right, and we're going to try to stay around here because the next boss scales. Most bosses don't scale. They have a set difficulty, but this upcoming boss does scale because technically we could do it in a different order if we want it. So that's why we're trying to stay around level 10 because it only scales to your level not to your equipment level or your enhancement level so we got this fun little sword that we immediately have to put back away sorry bye bye and now we can hit both of these at the same time and continue our way to the three swords room Set three swords total. So it seems. <laughs> it's always three, isn't it? Pardon? Three keys, three stones, three swords. Rather predictable, don't you think? Have you lost your mind? No. I just hate it when the creator takes shortcuts. Ha! <laughs> ha! Meta joke. Okay. We're going to go over here to the left first. Not over to that left. But this left. And I could jump by this red-eye monster. We're going to jump him instead. And not let him hit us. Because he did not respond to our stun lock. And we're going to let him hit us anyway. Because we're bosses. Okay, I did not realize I had no enough on this respite. Because I did not check that. Like a smarty pants. But we're still going to handle this like a boss. Alright, we got him locked. Ah, uh, never mind. We don't want him to go down there either anyway, because we don't want to go down there yet. Boom. Shaka. Laka. Can we get him some luck? Yes. Boom. Finished him off. Sliver of Adamantine. Thank you very much, Red Eye Monster. Alright. Small Lutcher Clump. And we could go up here. Could absolutely do that but uh there's nothing actually to do up here and we will be back instead so eh, fine we'll kill you get an extra few extra souls because first we're going to go in here and grab us another little secret with glowy all red just to let us know it's here thanks lava Another sliver of adamantine. And now we're back at the bottom of the stairs. So, something else back there for now. That's all we're doing over there. Now we're going to go to the right. And take care of these folks over here. And not die to them. Oh, gosh. All right, here we are. After dying. Uh, a... A, a uh, embarrassing number of times. I won't tell you how many. 
Yes, because I like leaving y'all mystery, but leave your guesses if you like. I will neither or ever confirm or deny the number of times that I've died in the exact same fight. Not this fight, the fight where I died in a second. Or just died, that you saw a second ago. I'm like predicting I'm already gonna die. That's wonderful. That's very confident of you. Alright, so definitely want to take out those two guys, because if you just run past them and come in here, they will follow you, which is annoying. But, I uh, wanted to check over here. There's no red eye. Confirmed video evidence that they do not respond, or not supposed to. Alright, so... You nerds really want to try to figure it out. Take a guess. Look at how many souls I just collected there. Because those are all souls from doing this fight over and over again and dying repeatedly. Alright, these two specifically. That annoy the crap out of me. Like that. And we're going to... Oh no, we can't flame on. Oh god! I wanted to flame on. Okay. I almost just died because I thought I could flame on. Now I can flame on. Do some damage. Oh my god, we made it. Oh my god, we made it. That was... Whew. All right. Since we're here, we'll get a few more souls by killing these fine... minding their own business folks. Now... I'm gonna walk over here slowly and... just revel in the moment for a minute and pick up this thing right here. Medium Lotcher Clump. And we're gonna start off to the right out of the many different directions we can go. I guess technically two, but... Uh, the three different things we can do in that room, we're going to this one first. This spinny spinny. And one of these pots has a wrath shard in it. We got it. We got it. Over here to this collapsed thing for no particular reason whatsoever. And before we jump down there, we're gonna come right here. Grab ourselves. A healing shard, okay. And, wow, this big button, okay. I thought they only spawned after you stepped on the button. I guess not. Dramatic entrance ruined. And, as always, be careful of some archers. That could start shooting at you at pretty much any moment. And ruin your day. Although, not as much as that particular silly fight ruined my moment up to now. Now I'm having a blast destroying all these skeletons very easily. Although I'm going to heal. But I'm caught unawares by an arrow like that. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Do you know who I am? No. Well, shoot. That's, uh, that's on me, I guess. Okay, no. We're not taking any more of your shit. Get the heck out of my face. Thank you. We'll collect you in a second after we finish the fights. And this one more annoying guy. You know what? We're gonna do this in style. Oh, God. Not get shot in the back. We're gonna do this in style, I said. With an explosion to the face. That's a forward arcane dodge with the flame hollow. Very nice. Okay. Now that's all done. We just strike that for no reason. I'm going to grab this demonic artifact. This large lurcher clump. This sliver of adamantine. This nothing. This Undying Shard, which is like a fairy, Zelda fairy, if you would. Absolutely nothing. And we already got you. Okay. So, Undying Shards. They are very nice, and they can get expensive. So, I would save it for fights where you're really having trouble. Like, I, even that one I was getting really annoyed, I wouldn't use it. For example, I'd save it for sins and fights that can take a very long time, and definitely ones that... If you're annoyed and you keep dying and you're far away from a serpent hole and you have a long way to go. So, we'll save that for another time. And we're going to stand on this button some more just because it's chill. And run over here before it starts turning back. 
I guess you could game it if you wanted and stand on the button with all the skeletons around you. Probably possible. But we're not doing that. <laughs> skeletons. Never even break a sweat against skeletons. And, alright, so we get our sword. Now this sword, we can actually play with a little bit. And we're going to. But first we're going to go over here and collect some things. Havoc shard. Oh, goodness gracious. Do you really have nothing better to do, sir? Than mess with my life? I mean, I guess that's why you exist. It's just to hit me with your sword that glows green whenever it's going to hit me. Very helpful that way. And... Grab this larger clump over here. Destroy this just because we don't like it. And this guy spawns from nowhere. Now let him get away with that. And as you might notice, we do a little bit more damage with this than we do with our whip, although it's pretty minor. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't scale or change, so this is probably the only time we'll ever get to fight with this, because after this point, your whip's always going to be better. So, because it is slightly better right now, we're taking on another one of these big fiery dudes. And, uh, that was a... Surprising long time without an attack, but all right, I'll take it, I guess. All right, let it all out. Let it all out. And now we're gonna use the rat attack, see much a little more damage. So enjoy fighting with another weapon. Or. One fight, at least. Oh, get away, get away. He really doesn't like it. Alright, so then at the base behind him is our second luminous visage. 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 Definitely visage, but sometimes I like to say visage. Makes me feel fancy. Then we come over here and grab this large lurcher pump. And then go into the waterfall of lava behind here and grab the medium lurcher cluster. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Again. So we got this sword. Now we gotta go stick it in the statue and say goodbye. And we're sticking it in the right just so we remember we already went to the right. Oh, I did consider messing with y'all and putting it on the left just to, to mess with it because that would bother me if I was watching. So hey, that's my goal, right? Is to is to bother bother you? Yeah? No? Anybody? Okay. I'll just go through this turn style now. I'm gonna hit this. My uh, my spice things was tingling that I had forgotten something there, but nope, I did not. Go on this turn style that isn't exactly round. Break some more pot just cause. Just like those trash cans and the mailbox, they just they just looked at me funny. Just looked at me funny. That's all it takes. Large Lurcher Clump. And another Fire Sack. Hello. And actually before that. Hold on now. Spidey Sense. Spidey Sense. Aha! Small Healing Shard. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Boom. Boom. Take that. Life. All right, and uh, here is another next little area, but before we do that, we're, if you came down here, you would see, oh, huh, there's a secret gate. I wonder how we get in there. Well, 
let me tell you folks, you crawl through a hole. That's how you, that that's that's how you get there. Yep. Okay. And this whole thing's on this hole. Let's talk about holes. Like talk about holes. This uh this ledge can be a little difficult to get to. I, I don't even know if it's possible from down here. I just jump on this little rock outcropping. And I get up that way. And grab small electric cluster here. And superhero drop down into the water with a dainty little splash. Alright. Break some more priceless pottery. And uh, smash your pottery, guys, so I can't let you live. You might tell someone I smashed your pottery. And get that in the corner. Then the small larger cluster right here. And before triggering that red eye, let's get rid of these guys. So we don't get annoyed. Too bad. Ouch. Like that. And alright. Now we'll take on our next red eye. That's guarding something pretty nice. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. You coming or what? Come at me, bro. No, I'm not quite the mad bro I was looking for. I wanted to dodge out of the way and smack his face, but... Okay, alright. Now you're just... Now, now you're just being mean. You're just a bully. I say as I bully him by spamming attacks. Sil silver again. Ha ha ha. Sliver of adamantine. And the chaos enhancement. Our second enhancement. And as it happens... There's nothing up there. As it happens, we have a second weapon. I like to equip it. So, when focus chaos, 1% damage from this weapon returned as health. Life leech, which can be very, very helpful. And 112% havoc form duration. And you saw how quick it was when we were fighting that chosen. This could be very helpful. And also, it was a very key factor to like the havoc all the time late game build. So, as long as it's something that is the most useful until you kind of have all the pieces although havoc form is very powerful so this might not be one that you upgrade at least until new game plus but i enjoy it and i enjoy the the health so until we get a better one i'm not going to say no to longer havoc and life leech but it all depends just on how you like to play and i always went up the stairs like that freaking mattered but it doesn't because there's a sword face oh, i said i was i said i wouldn't do that anymore so i'm not gonna say it but we fired that sword. Could jump down there, but we're not because we're going to go up here. Because we already know what we got to do. And that includes not letting this guy hit us. That's my solemn vow right now. He's not going to hurt us at all. Oh, that was a close one. See? Told ya. Told ya. No pots here. No pots allowed, and just for for looking at me. I don't know why I think that's so... That, that to me is really funny for some reason. Just the pot looked at me wrong. Gotta smash it. Alright, so we're gonna swing over here. And destroy the webbing up here, because that webbing leads to that little fire brains. So now that has fallen, we'll be able to complete this room. Okay, that wasn't nice. That wasn't very nice. Neither was that. You guys need some better manners. Let the horseman named Fury teach you about manners. Because that makes sense. And we're going to grab the sliver of adamantine over here in the corner. Say hello to our buggy friend. And drop him right over here. And then let him just eat his fill. Just an innocent little bug. Just eating his fill, just hanging out there, just like, oh man, this is the best brains ever. But, in fact, it was all misdirection, because we're standing right here on this button. But, uh, actually, no, we need to kind of bridge the gap. You see the two ways webbing here, so if we destroy this here, this will give us enough time to get over here. And we'll watch the webbing destroy 
our feasty, gluttonous little friend there. Thank you for your service. Boom. And we'll do a dramatic walk. We just killed your friend. I, uh, I wouldn't come anywhere near us. Alright. Uh, now we're through there. I was expecting a little dun 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 dun, but didn't get it. I I misremembered. Grab an angelic artifact up there on the ledge. Take care of this... Bikey mofo. Them horns, boy. some blue webbing here. Do that and get the small lurcher hiding behind the vase there. And we're gonna destroy this as well for these pans. And uh, just for my own sanity, we're gonna burn that web too, even though we don't have to. And we're gonna stand on this right here. Run, 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 dodge. And let's grab our third of the three swords. And smash our face into the crystal switch. Alright, folks. That's almost it. We're the three swords room. Um, take, take my, take the sword. Take it. And now we can hit that. That, uh, little roundabout, but... Statues welcoming us in with open arms and open mouth. And now we can go around. There it is! Bop, 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 bop. Ah, do, 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 do. So... Now, we could just go right in here, into the open, willing, inviting, okay, sorry, and, but not, we're not, not yet, we're gonna go back here and get ourselves this demonic artifact. Alright, now we can go into the, okay, stop, not funny, stop, immature. Mistress, easy. Do you hear it? This is not what we seek. Let us carry on. Wait. The Maker. You owe him nothing. I know. I want him to owe me. Easy, child. Easy. I can lead you to others like you. Humans, won't that be nice? Oh gosh. Folks. We got golems. A whole bunch of golems. I like throwing them. Time explosive charges at us or something? I guess. I, I mean, these guys have hoods and like they're already look like Gollum. But, uh, oh man, there's ones without hoods. So that's all that's over here is that small lecture cluster down there. So you can actually swing right to the right place from down here if you wanted, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do the intended over here. And if you see that, don't worry, we'll be getting it. Eventually, it's actually, I think, quite a bit of time before we'll be grabbing that. And say hello to another Vulgrim. What would you ask of this? Thanks, buddy. We'll so we do have enough, but we're not going to do that yet. Because again, I kind of want to say around level 10 for the 
scaling boss. So, yeah, we'll buy. Nah, 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 nope, nope. We're trying to save up, see if we can grab that flame armor before we fight the boss. All right, so we're gonna look over here, and we'll see these two guys over here about to try to ruin our day. But we're not gonna let them. We're just gonna grab this barrel of small archer clump. These are definitely not children. Definitely look at this, and I wonder what the hell it is, and I guess we'll find out eventually, right? And not go where we're supposed to. Instead, jump down here. Grab ourselves another sliver of adamantine. Jump back up. And now, try to jump over while we dodge these things. These charges, improvised explosives being thrown at us by golems through holes. Grab the small lurcher cluster. See? It's literally, go guys, look, it's literally golem. Literally. Anyway. All right. And let's not forget that healing shard right there. And now we'll go into what I think is one of the coolest rooms in the game. Well, design-wise, just because it feels cool. I just like dinos. Ah, I sense these foul brats don't want us here. And I failed to mention it, but I jumped over that booby trap. These are little booby traps that try to avoid. They can do quite a bit of damage. So I would recommend not getting hit by them. Just maybe not running around like crazy, going slowly. They'll actually kind of back around different pathways around them. So use that to your advantage if you're having trouble seeing them. But just don't go running, going crazy. And uh, we're just going to collect all these things while we dodge the traps and take care of our golem, golem, our golem problem. No, it wasn't so bad because we were kind of far away from it, but we actually pushed him into triggering it. But he was already going to die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Take care of you. Walk around the edge here. Grab the thorn shard. I don't really like thorn shards, I'll be honest with you. It doesn't quite do enough damage on the reflect back, if that makes sense, on the thorn damage. To really justify using it. But I'm not going to go, like, sell them in case the instance does come up. Just because I'm a hoarder that way. Making the upcoming boss especially appropriate to remind you not to hoard too badly. And continue around the foot of the dinosaur, collecting up all the clumps. And let's get the last thing on the floor here. The small lurcher clump. Oh my goodness. Dinosaur, I was just repping you so hard and then I just ped bonk you and you knock me right into an explosive. We're no longer friends. No longer friends. I don't like you anymore. All right, so jump over here, walk around, see if there's nothing here except for any display cases. Watch out for the explosions. Take out the little dudes. The little dudes definitely not minding their own business. Okay, stop running away from me. Thank you. And go on up here. Jump over that. Explosion thing I definitely not run into multiple times, which is why I could jump over it without looking at it. And let's kill this webbing to unlock the chandelier. And, fun fact, it is also possible to get over there, you know, our ultimate destination. It's possible to get over there without knocking down the chandelier. You can just kind of angle your jump with this and swing, and it's very possible. It's very doable. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. T-Rex, I'm still blaming you for that one. Alright, so now we're jumping from here.
Get your dino facts in. Okay, okay, we're friends again. You had something on your head? We gotta learn some fun dino facts. We're friends again. Okay, now we're gonna just jump over here. Jump over the scaffolding. Little explosion. And get the fortification shard. Okay. And we could go this way and ruin this guy's day. But before we do that, we're going to go over here and take a look at this red eye. This very special red eye that has a little friend here that can get very annoying in the middle of this fight. So I try to take him out first. Use the respite. Do not die here. Good job, Cuddle. Oh, fell too soon. All right, it's going to unlocked. All right, here we go. So this very special red eye is very special because he drops a fragment of adamantines instead of the usual slivers. Some others do this as well, but that's only one reason why he's special. He's a super duper special. And another fragment here. He is a super duper duper special because he will respawn. And there just so happens to be a Vulgrim point that we're about to access very close by. And I jumped over a booby trap there. So if you want, you can absolutely game and just uh, die a few times. Or if you do die, just take this guy and go to town. And uh, we're not going to do that, though. We're uh, just going to let you know about it and let you make your own decisions. But for the sake of this guide, we are not going to do that. And we're going to jump over this little explosion here. And I should probably respite up just so I don't die. That'd be good. We got that thing up there that I got without speaking. We're going to walk slowly because I think there's one more explosive here. Yep, jump over it. And we are home free from the explosions. Goodbye, T-Rex. Thank you. There's nothing over here. Thank you for being... Oh, dude, he's even got a... Is that a I'm going with beard. I, was going to, you know, I think that's just hanging out of his teeth or whatever, but it's not a salad. It's a T-Rex with a beard. Nice. What manner of hoarder do we have here? Mistress, your talisman. Be wary. Oh, it's glowing. So we are finally at our next boss. And we're going to collect these three things right here. Do not run in too far. You'll trigger the cutscene. Just want to collect that before we came over here. Say hello to Vulgrim. But let's take a quick look. How are we doing on clumps? Let's do some math real quick. Quick maths. Definitely quick. Definitely like instantaneous. Not like meticulously putting into a calculator because, you know, math. And we got a little over 10,000 just in clusters because we're only level 10. We didn't break any uh, after that. We've gotten almost 10,000 just through this run through. And that gives us enough for the flame armor, which is a upgrade to damage and an upgrade to physical defense. So it reduces damage. So that is absolutely something that we want. So we're going to break all of these, but not these because this is still kind of a waste. We're still pretty low level. Skull crush face. 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 And take your time. We're going to buy ourselves some flame hollow armor. Boom. A wise decision. Easily our best upgrade so far. And does not affect the scaling, so we get to do quite a bit. And uh, if you had enough, feel free to buy, or maybe probably buy the rejuvenation core if it was me. But that's totally up to you. And uh, we're actually going to do something else. As you can see here, we have 10 slivers of adamantine. So that happens to not quite be enough. We're just, we're just doing math. So we need six to go to plus three, and we need another six to go to plus two on the Chains of Scorn. So I usually, again, wouldn't recommend this, but I really want to upgrade the Chains of Scorn and the Whip before this fight. So I'm going to buy two slivers. And I... Do I have enough? For, I do have enough for level. I'm not going to because I just... Why... I'd, I'd rather not scale the, the boss. Just because I'm a because I'm a boss. I don't want to scale the boss because I'm a boss. And we're going to go to the Maker's Forge and upgrade our ship.
All right. All right, Ulthane. Help me out. And you know, if you were if you were a better gamer, you could have equipped, you know, done just enough for ten thousand, then bought this, and then got five percent sent more souls. But you know, we're just not god gamers. It's just how it is sometimes. We're not all god gamers. All right, let's see what that can. Oh, we just we'll talk about it in a second. We'll upgrade the weapons first. So we got twelve. We had ten. I bought two. And we also happen to have three fragments of adamantine. So we're going to get up to plus four. And we have six slivers left. They get plus one and plus two. Oh yeah, that looks good. So we do have five of each artifact at this moment. So, like I've mentioned previously, if you're going for the five balanced enhancements achievement with as little playing as possible, you need to pick five enhancements to put artifacts into. Because if you spread out over more than five, and there's more than five in the game, you won't be able to get to up to five balanced in a single playthrough. I mean, technically you can, but it's more difficult. Uh, so, we're going to just pick five to focus on until we get that achievement, and then we'll start spreading it around. However... Like I said, I'm not going to really go for a Havoc build until later in the game. You know, that later being like Armageddon plus plus. So I'm not going to put any down Focus Chaos. I'd rather put it into other things that enhancements that I get later. So I am, however, going to put it into Fortifier. And I personally would rather get a little bit more damage out of whatever weapon I have on, which will be for now, which will be the Whip. And uh, while health is nice, obviously, and you can get some additional health without needing to level up, I'm going to spend it on the Fortifier instead. And we'll get our first Enhancement Trophy in Hertz. Like we're on the Star Trek. And we do, again, we do have enough to do it again here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save it for other Enhancements. But feel free to do what you like. I will. Literally, there's a bunch of people watching her back. Literally right now. Okay. And we got our flame hollow armor on. Looking all spiffy and matchy to our hair. So color matching is always a good thing. What would you ask of this? Take your time. And uh, still got slivers. And uh, there's some money. We're just, rather than dying, I knew you I'm just going to do the health lectures. I'm not going to feed a soul. Could get another level, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick at 10. And now we're going to go back Please. and fight. Now it's time to fight Avarice. There wasn't much that the humans got right, but they did no art. What? Frankly, I think it's one of the reasons that the angels were so jealous of them. Have you ever seen one of those birds paint? You're talking about art. Now, here. It's a museum. Well, suddenly we have our mission. I'm just saying. <laughs> Some people have no appreciation for the finer things in life. Avarice. Fury. <laughs> Welcome to my hall of treasure. Unfortunate. You forgot to pay the entrance fee. Your life. Take it if you dare, wretch. All right. So, you can totally pop it on dying or fortification shard if you like. I'm gonna pop a fortification shard. So I'm a little preacher, just to make sure we get through this fight. But we're actually in pretty good shape with the armor. If you don't have the armor, just being level 10 will put you in pretty good shape. And with the upgrades. Like even though you just the plus four on the whip, you're doing pretty good here. There we go. That's what we're looking for. 
dodges. Dodges are good. And uh, if you're at this stage of the fight, at this stage at a different point in the game, and you already have the hollow that we're about to collect after beating him, you can actually do counter damage to him up there because the hollow Rotigan has a range counter, which is very useful. But since we do not, we can't do that. And if you don't, that's totally fine. As again, I believe this is the intended way to go through the game. It seems unlikely to me, based on just how everything's laid out, how they're ordered in the game, how they're ordered in the DLC, and how the game is literally like saying, go on this path. This is definitely the intended path. Let him keep throwing junk at us. Because we think it's funny. Let him keep throwing junk. But now he's coming down with the big boy. And this one we definitely gotta dodge. And that was a total dodge, for sure. That's why we had a fortification shard. For when we miss those dodges. Uh, of course I pressed the wrong button. They can get either arcane. There we go, that's what we want. And you can definitely use Havoc, but... And if you don't want to jump away and waste a bunch of time with Havoc, I would wait until he's kind of down here permanently, which is... He's below half health, and I believe he's gotten three different, like, weapons, big weapons like this, because it's going to break in a second. And then he'll jump up and get another one. And that one, he will not jump back. He'll just keep attacking you with that single one. And that's the point you want to bring out Havoc. Because, like I said, he won't jump away and you'll waste a bunch of time and damage possibly with it. Now he should not jump back up. So we're going to use the Wrath to get as much damage out of it as we can. And then... We're going to do this without Havoc. Oh, God. All right, definitely didn't. Uh, here we go. Let's try again. A few moments later. All right, the fridge. This last one. And we'll see if we need to pop this. Maybe we'll get away with it. Nope, we're just gonna do health shard. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, you know what? I was gonna try I was gonna try and be a boss. Not happening. This is not the day for this. They we are using him. But hey. I'm okay with this. We got some health back, which is good. Oh my of course it hits me right when I was getting out of it. But we got him. Enjoy your collection. Who needs a museum when you can carry a collection in this? Oh, Philistine. Yeah. Welcome again, Fury. It's not like I had a choice in the matter. Do you kidnap all your guests? You would not be so disrespectful. If you knew the true power I give you. Your battle with Avarice proved you value your mission above material possessions. You are ready for stronger tools of destruction. Another toy for me to play with. You're far too generous. The Storm Hollow. Use it wisely. 
Why not give me all your gifts and get it over with? If you're so keen to arm one of the horsemen. Be gone. <laughs> The Storm Hollow, our second weapon. Well, our third weapon. Our second hollow. The hollow you can get from two different bosses, but we got it from Evers. It has a nice little floaty thing. It uses this nice little spear. Sphere. Spear. It uses this nice little spear that if you counter backwards or the side, you will throw it in a ranged counterattack. And you get yelly glowy hair. So that's always good. Along with the glow. Okay. So now let's collect up everything that's here. Get our souls from the time we definitely, definitely died, which was definitely only once. And just start going around the room. But the most important things are the small lurcher clumps. That's all there is really. Except for the angelic artifacts. That's what I meant. Those are the, that's the important things. That and a demonic artifact in the other corner. And the rest are just small larger clumps and that one sliver of adamantine. The rest are small larger clumps or I guess a wrath shard. I forgot about that. Two slivers. Oh man. I'm just nailing it on the head today. And Loomis Visage. Yeah, so that's always here. That, that could be anywhere in the room. That's wherever you killed Everest. That drops from Everest himself. And demonic artifact and the small literature clump. All right, folks, we're all set. Say hello to Vilgrim again because he's our bro. By the way, I hope you don't take offense, Fury. Yet I'm certain I will. <laughs> yes, well, don't slaughter the messenger and puree his guts, as the saying goes. Whispers of your martial prowess have spread throughout certain circles, horsemen. There are those who would like to put your talents to the test, if you wish to humor them. I do not. But if you did, out of curiosity or pride or plain old greed like a normal person, say the word and the serpent hole shall convey you unto... The Crucible. The Crucible? Ugh. Bit on the nose, isn't it? Says the Furious Horseman named Fury. Enough, Fulgrim. What's in this for you? Ten percent. The demon's got to make a living. And for you, rewards that should pique a warrior's interest, assuming you survive. Consider it. Or don't. Or don't is my answer, Vulgrim, because uh, we're going to save that for much later. But yes, that is the Crucible. That is the second, or actually I guess the first DLC. The first DLC that was released. We can technically access the other one first. And anywho, thank you so much for watching. I'm Cuddle, and I really appreciate you being here. If you like and subscribe, that really helps me out. I hope this helped you. And if you like, I have a spreadsheet that lists everything that we get in every single episode to help you follow along. Make sure you don't miss something along the way. It is a Google spreadsheet that is public down in the description. Once again, I want to say thank you for watching. This has been a long one. So if you're still here, you're a trooper. Once again, I'm Cuddle. This has been my Darksiders 3 100% walkthrough episode 3. And I will see you again next time.